Today we're going to learn how to do some keyboard shortcuts that will help speed up your process when you're programming with R and R Studio. R Studio is the IDE and we're going to jump right in with a few examples. The editor up here on the top left is what you normally work in. So you might be running the tidyverse, you command enter, you've loaded it, you can see it shows up down here in our console window. So we know that it's been executed. Now the next one is test. I'm going to do command enter on that. And you'll see over in my environments it shows test equals test. So I know things are going on. But maybe I was on connections tab over here and I didn't know that test was actually properly uh, running correctly. Now this is a very trivial example, but you typically want to go back and forth between the editor and the console. And you're usually, uh, when you first start out, you're using the mouse all the time. And you know, these hardcore programmers are going to say, you don't use the mouse, you use your keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to learn those shortcuts right now. So if I do control number two, it'll bring me to the console at all times. So I could type in the word test and hit enter and you'll see the output is test. So I know that's right. Now to get back up to the editor, control number one. And this works for all of the windows that you can see here, so including the tabs. You kind of want to memorize the ones that you're going to be using often. For example, I know that control eight is my global environment. See, I just typed it now and you see that it actually activated that tab. Now, I typically stay on this um, view in this tab so I don't really know control 8 as well as I know control 1 and control 2 but you can do control up to I believe number 9 and it'll go through all these tabs so I I, I want to you know advise you to test them out like control 5 you can see that it brought me to the files control 6 plots etc etc so that's how you can switch between windows pretty easily now, if you did Control Shift, this is a, a neat one. If I do Control Shift and then the number one, you can see that it maximizes my view for that particular um, editor. If I do Control Shift number two, it maximizes maximizes my console. So that could be pretty useful. I use Control Shift and then hit the same number again, and it'll go back to your regular normal view. Very handy. Okay, now sometimes you want to run a piece of code, but you don't want to go to the next line. So I'm used to doing command enter and it goes to the next executable line. So as you see, if I click on tidyverse up here and I hit command enter, it goes to test. Well, let's say I didn't want to do that because you want to run something over and over again to do some testing or some troubleshooting. You can do the um, option and then return key. So if I do option return, it runs. You can see down here in the console it's running, but the blinking cursor does not actually go down to the next executable line. So that's pretty handy. Okay, next tip. This next tip is a good way to get the path of your directories that you're looking for. So let's say I want to do my path equals um, and you put it in quotes, you can do dot dot forward slash and then hit the tab button. See when I hit the tab button, it actually gives me wherever my project is located, the paths available. So if I wanted to go into animation examples, I can click on it and there it is. Hit the tab again and you can continue down that path. Very useful and handy so you don't have to write this stuff out. And sometimes directory paths are, you know, a little bit more complicated and you can't just memorize what they are. So it's a very, very helpful tip. Okay, one other example that I want to show you real quick is how to execute all of the code above or all the code below a certain cursor position. So let's say I'm at this cursor position here and I want to execute all of the code above. What you have to memorize for this is Control Alt or Control Option B for beginning or E for end. So let's clear my global environments here just to show you that it's got nothing there. And I'm right here at the iris thing and I want to run all the code above it. So control alt, which is control option, and then the letter B. Control option B. You see it ran. You can see another test equals 13, test equals test. It ran everything above it. And so control option um, E will run everything below it. So that's usually handy. You have a lot of code, you want to rerun everything because you screwed something up, but, but not anything below it, just everything above it. So control option B for beginning, control option E for ending. 
And if you want to run the entire script, it's Control Option R for run, run the entire script. So remember, Control Option E for end, Control Option B for beginning, Control Option R for the entire script. Finally, what I want to show you is how to navigate through a bunch of tabs. Control Tab will tab through. If you keep hitting Control Tab, it'll tab through your tabs. Control Shift Tab will go backwards. So Control Tab will go forward. Control Shift Tab will go back. Very convenient, very easy, especially if you're going back and forth between two tabs all the time. So Control Tab, Control Shift Tab, Control Tab, Control Shift Tab. Run your code. It works pretty well when you're doing some script down on one uh, tab and some R markdown on another, and it definitely uh, speeds up your process. The next command I want to show you is down here in the actual console. If you want to clear the console window, you can do Control and L. So that'll clear your console window. Sometimes if you have a lot of error flags and warnings and you've cleaned it up and you fixed it and you want to rerun your code but you want to clear slate, just do Control L on the actual console window. And for the last tip, I want to just give you one that you might already know is Command, Shift, and the letter M. It'll give you the pipe operator. That is very handy because typing all those three characters are pretty slow for me, but I can usually uh, do Command, Shift, M, the letter M, and it's a lot faster. I hope these tips are helpful for you. If they are, uh, keep practicing them. Comment below with any tips you might have or shortcut keys that you use in our studio. And please like this video, share it on social media for me. That'll help me out quite a bit. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.